How's it hanging, dudes? My name is Sean. Uh, how's it yanging, dudes? Damn it, I just had a video earlier. I was, uh, promised myself I was going to say, how's it yanging, dudes? How's it yanging, dudes? My name is Sean, and I'm sorry that my chair is so dang creaky, man. So creaky. Uh, it's a little rusty. Anyways, Andrew Yang just passed Bernie Sanders in small donors. Remember how I keep saying that uh, Yang is just slightly under where Bernie Sanders was this time, last time around, whenever he was going up against uh, HRC, right? It's true, and now he's he's growing past Bernie, where he Bernie was, and the thing is, Bernie is consistently he's he's got a strong don't get me wrong he's got a strong pull he's still got a strong force, but there's been a few polls where he's he's been down there's been a few polls where he hasn't gained as much there's been a few polls where he's just stayed steady. Yang increases in every single polling, every single one, every single one, and now now he's past Bernie in small donors, and the thing is. Other than Bernie being a self-professed socialist, um, democratic socialist, uh, and the fact that over 48% of America, 48% of America and that's, this is a conservative estimate um, from numerous polls, say that America doesn't want a socialist president. Um, and it may it may be, and that may be because people aren't educated on the term socialist. That may be true, uh, or what socialism is, and that it's not communism, and that you know socialism isn't the only thing that ruined Venezuela, and you know all kinds of stuff like that. I get that, but to be able to package all that and sell it to that forty eight percent of Americans, it's impossible. It's just impossible. Yang is the perfect person right down the middle. He's not necessarily a centrist, but he appeals to both sides. He's a data, it's not ideological, it's a data driven movement. And it's starting to show, you know what I mean? Uh, and other, besides socialism, Bernie Sanders supported Hillary Clinton. He campaigned for her after it was, it was announced that the DNC got caught cheating and conspiring with Hillary Clinton to cheat Bernie Sanders out of the election. And they offered him a, a, a numerous recounts. He denied all of them and then went on to campaign for her. Campaigned for her and gave, what was it, 37 speeches for her or something like that. Some crazy number for somebody who cheated you. Um, he gave a, a large uh, portion of, uh, of his voter base to Trump. None went to Hillary. And most abstained from voting. I myself wrote Bernie Sanders in last time around. So um, I'm sorry we haven't gotten to the article yet. But I just, that's just what, that's just what, that's what's happening. Bernie Sanders isn't having the meteoric rise like he had last time because of Hillary Clinton. And then she goes on to Howard Stern and stuff like that and just, and just says how Bernie hurt her and stuff like that. Well, no, you, if anything, like you hurt Bernie, you know what I mean? But as far as I'm concerned, Bernie asked for it because he went on and campaigned for it. And I know a lot of people don't like, I know there's some Bernie bros on this channel and I, I respect you guys. Bernie's my third pick behind Tulsi. And now Tulsi's probably going to be out. He's probably going to be my second pick. You know, but sorry, my damn chair. But at the end of the day, um, you have to look at the facts, and the fact facts are you were cheated out of the election, Bernie, and then you turned tail, you turned coat immediately, just so you can curry favor for the next election. That's what you did. So you immediately sold out to the corrupt system, the corrupt system that you are still railing against, and then you caved to it. And if you did that once, you would do that again. That's how the American people look at it. I'm not saying that's necessarily my position, even though it is. I'm saying that mo most American people look at that. They know they don't like Hillary Clinton. And they looked at you to fight against that corruption because you are the one who ideologically are constantly against big money, big corruption, dirty politics. Then you supported that only to give yourself a shoe in chance for the next election. And the media still treats you like an outsider. So... I mean, you don't have to like me for that opinion, but that opinion is a fact. It's true. That's the reason why Bernie has less support this time around. It's just the way it is. Andrew Yang is now number one in small donors, ahead of Bernie Sanders and Julian Castro. I like, that. I like this. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sorry, Gage Skidmore, but uh, <laughs> I like this. I'm gonna. I'm gonna take that. I'm gonna take that, son. Um. Anyways, Andrew Yang is now number one in small donors ahead of Bernie Sanders and Julian Castro. As the chart below shows, it is small donors, those giving less than $200, that are powering his campaign, mostly fueled by a devoted internet following known as the Yang Gang. Hey, shout out to us. You know what I'm saying? Hey, appreciate that. Anyways, he'll need that gang to grow offline if he, 
he'll need that gang to grow offline if he wants to keep his campaign going in 2020 uh, though as bbc reported well bbc isn't reporting nothing <clears throat> because he keeps growing and he keeps growing offline and he'd grow offline a whole lot more if they had actually include him as a name under some of the polls he would grow offline a lot more if you know progressive or you know leftist uh, news outlets like MSNBC, which really they're just secretly right wing because they're pro war. But anyways, leftist news organizations wouldn't, you know, remove him from over twenty different graphics. People say twelve; it's actually twenty. Wouldn't have removed him uh, or got his name wrong. Wouldn't have, you know. Come on, come on. He would be growing a whole lot more if there wasn't a targeted campaign against him. And he's still, he's still breaking them records, dudes. You know what I'm saying? So anyway. Even with all this stacked against him. Here's a chart. Tweet from Yang. Number one, small donors. Grassroots funding. No corporate PAC money. That's the Yang gang. This campaign is all about people fighting for other people. How much money came from small donors? Breakdown of the campaign income by type of contribution. You have dark blue, small donors. Uh, light blue, big donors. Uh, yellow, which is transfer. I'm not really sure what kind of kind of money that is i think that might be you know large packs um that might be large packs i don't know i don't know what yellow what, what is transfers transfers from, i don't know anyway self-funding <laughs> you have tom steyer down here <laughs> look at tom steyer it's all, he makes just enough small donors to qualify for the debate <laughs> the rest is god that's gotta be embarrassing man it's got to be embarrassing. You know, I'm not necessarily... I, I I am definitely against Citizens United. I'm definitely against big money in politics. But while we have this corrupt system as it is and we got to play with these rules, I have no problem using those rules against the establishment. I've done it with Wolfpack, and, and we'll do it with Mathpack if we need to. But right now, we're not needing that. So, look at this. Julian Castro, of all people, is looking pretty good, even though I don't think he's going to be to the end of the debates. But Yang outbeat Julian Castro. He, a, 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 a seasoned... Um, a seasoned politician, might I add, Bernie Sanders with huge name recognition, Elizabeth Warren with huge name recognition, Pete Buttigieg, who's buying huge name recognition, and Tulsi Gabbard, who has got a huge following in her own right, right? So, of course, Joe Biden, he just trumps, excuse the phrase, but he just trumps Joe Biden. Andrew Yang is on top, baby. Don't think he ain't, you know what I'm saying? Oh, man, this is beautiful. Oh, this is beautiful. This is beautiful. So, number one is small donors. Grassroots funding. No corporate PAC money. That's the Yang Gang. This campaign is all about people fighting for other people. Andrew Yang said recently on Twitter. Man. I'm so excited for Andrew Yang, man. He is he is doing great. He is doing great. And uh, I'm sorry, Gates Gidmore, but I'm going to stick your thumbnail. And uh, I'm going to use it. And uh, I'll give you credit, though. I'll give you credit. But, guys, let me know your, what your thoughts are in the comments section below. If you've watched this far into the video, make sure you smack that freaking like button. You know what I'm saying? I know this is the second video of the day um, next to the Pete Booty one. So, make sure you go check that out on the channel. Because um, Pete, Wall Street Pete, you know what I'm saying? Wall Street Pete, boys. Uh, yeah, but I don't know. Andrew Yang, he's killing it, man. Um, I love this. Look. Andrew Yang just destroyed Bernie Sanders FSG. Oh, man. I kind of want to click that. I want to click that. Should we click it? Let's click it. Let's click it. Is it clicking? Uh-oh. Is it a bad link? Is it taking forever? No, it's the incoming. Okay. Oh, this is from September 19th. That's a good thumbnail, though. Whoever this Gage Skidmore, Skidmore person is is doing pretty good with these thumbs, boy. Uh, yeah. So, Andrew Yang's freedom movement will create millions of jobs while allowing the free market to regulate the labor market. <clears throat> and on the other hand, a federal jobs guarantee would create a bureaucracy in the government which will literally regulate the labor market similar to a socialist society. Damn! <laughs> Shots fired, man. Shots fired. Oh, golly. So, I don't know, guys. That's pretty much all I got for you guys today. I don't want to drag this out too much longer. But um, I just want to relish in this fact that Andrew Yang, without corporate PAC money, small donors, keeps crushing it man we are crushing these thresholds as long as we keep throwing money and we keep making these debates and we keep rising these polls oh man everybody's gonna keep getting knocked out warren's gonna get knocked out Biden's gonna get knocked out pete booty's gonna get knocked out and then we're just gonna have who sanders and yang and as far as i'm concerned that's technically a win-win for us even though i'd rather have yang over sanders because of, uh, for the reasons aforementioned i think sanders would cave 
immediately and his health care plan would create a huge bureaucracy and a whole bunch more red tape um that yang's uh, that all of yang's policies effectively just cut out so you know it is what it is uh, uh no hate against any birdie bros on the channel i love you guys um i just think you guys are just a little bit misguided right now and uh i'm pretty i'm sure you think that same way about me you know what i'm saying but we're all friends here we're all family we're all progressives even though i'm right-leaning progressive that's weird to say but it is what it is and i love you guys and i'll catch you guys in the next one make sure you like comment subscribe all that good algorithmic jazz and i'll see you guys in the next one